Legendary crooner Perry Como passed away in his sleep in May 2001 at his home in Jupiter Inlet Colony, Florida, just before his 89th birthday. This was the final home before his death, and it was last sold in 2010 for $3 million, since being demolished with a more modern mansion being put in its place. Prior to this, Perry Como called Long Island home and lived in a Sands Point estate which he reportedly bought in 1946 up until the 1970s. His one-time Long Island home came up on the market in 2019 for $2.9 million, and while it's been updated and altered over the years, it still holds plenty of the singer's touches throughout, including a gorgeous expansion with an entertainment room that he added on. Perry Como, born on May 18, 1912 in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, was the seventh child among among 13 siblings, two Italian immigrants, Pietro and Lucia Como. At the age of 14, he started working as a barber in Cannonsburg and built a successful business doing so. In 1933, while on vacation in Cleveland, Ohio, Como's friends encouraged him to audition for the Freddie Carlone Band. To his delight, he was offered a job with the band just a week later. Inspired by his family's encouragement, he took a leap of faith, closed his barber shop, and pursued a career in singing. He joined the Ted Weems Band after marrying his his childhood sweetheart, Roselle Belie. With the band, he toured, recorded as a vocalist, and made his debut on the radio. By 1943, Perry Como had become a well-known personality and recognized star in New York. Throughout his career from 1948 to 1963, Como hosted and performed on various TV series. He continued to host TV specials until the 90s and achieved success in the music industry, recording 22 albums and 147 singles. While he lived out much of his life in New York with his family, he eventually moved to Florida, where he spent the remainder of his decades. In his later years, it was reported that Perry suffered from symptoms of Alzheimer's. The legendary crooner passed away peacefully in his sleep in 2001 at his Florida home, and he and his wife Roselle are buried together in Palm Beach County. While Jupiter, Florida became Perry Como's final resting place for most of his singing career, he lived in Sands Point, New York, an area on the North Shore of Long Island. He raised his three children here and was very involved in the community, local church, and supporting the nearby hospital, St. Francis. Mild-mannered and friendly, Perry Como was the area's approachable celebrity, and they loved him living there. In the 1970s, he moved to Florida, but Long Island remained a part of his life since his son David also lived there. In 2019, Perry's longtime former home in Long Island came up for sale at $2.9 million and still maintained the singer's presence despite modern updates and renovations. While Perry enjoyed a successful career, he and his wife Roselle raised their children in a lovely tradition home where they remained mostly out of the spotlight. This 4,723 square foot abode remained close to Perry's heart even after they moved to Florida and he continued to drive by and look at it for years. It's reported that Perry purchased the home in 1946 for an undisclosed amount and continued to live here until the 70s. Mr. C, as he was called, lived in the home for two decades. Sands Point, home to an impressive number of notables such as F. Scott Fitzgerald, who made it the location for The Great Gatsby, William Randolph Hearst, among others, has become even more desirable recently due to the popularity of the Showtime series Billions. Sands Point is located at the tip of a peninsula on the north shore of Long Island, New York, and it's a fairly wealthy enclave that's surrounded by the water. Perry's former home here is still full of his touches, and the listing agent at the time said about the place Perry did expand the house and he made a great entertaining room in the back which overlooks the pool and Hollywood style cabana. It has an old Hollywood feel. Built in 1937, the colonial mini mansion sits on 2.5 acres of land and inside both six bedrooms and five baths throughout. There are large and spacious rooms inside Perry's former property and while they've been thoroughly updated to modern day expectations, the home still respects its history. Walking in the foyer boasts a graceful curved staircase and leads on into the entertaining spaces. A nearby carpeted living room has a large sunny window, a fireplace, and white walls, while there's also a great room that Como added during his time living here. This sprawling room boasts a double height wood beam ceiling, a corner fireplace, and a fully windowed corner with an entertainment area and TV nearby. There's also a formal dining room with navy blue walls and marble fireplace, a library, and a wood paneled home office. 
The chef's kitchen is bright and updated with contemporary touches while there's also an all white, sunny and bright breakfast room. Elsewhere in Perry's former home there's a basement level with a bar and upstairs the master suite is decorated with French fabric and features an updated bath and dressing room. Como Estate is reminiscent of old Hollywood and there's a lot of things that he left behind including the extension and the great room he added, the 15 car driveway and the pool and cabana. Perry also had a sense of humor and in the powder room a hand painted mural remains from the star's time featuring an image of a singing como with the musical notes and caption ladies will please stay seated during the entire performance outside aside from the stunning pool the wooded property provides a park like atmosphere with a large garden well-maintained lawn and professional landscaping not to mention the trees ensure total privacy and if the pool isn't your thing you're only a short stroll to the white sand beach the property comes with high Highly coveted beach rights in the Sands Point community. After Perry's death in 2001, the estate was more recently listed in 2017 for $3.95 million, then dropped to the last known market price. In the 1970s, Perry moved on from Long Island to Florida where he lived until his death. The final home of the late singer was located on Jupiter Inland Colony in Palm Beach County, Florida, right on the water, and boasted 5,755 square feet of space inside. The ideal location of the property gave amazing views of the turquoise waters and also featured a large lock. Perry passed away quietly in his sleep here in 2001 after living here for decades and the house was said to be renovated shortly after in 2002. At this time the home was sold for 3.25 million dollars and it's unknown how much Perry paid for it years prior. The house boasted three beds and 4.5 baths while most rooms offered amazing views of the lighthouse as well. There was an open floor plan with with spacious common rooms, vaulted ceilings, mood lighting, and a dining room and den with walnut built-ins. There were also wood and marble floors throughout. Other highlights included a steam shower, a cozy kitchen, balconies, and more. Outside was probably the most impressive area of his former home because it boasted beautiful gardens, swings, a rock waterfall, massive swimming pool, courtyard, and a tiki hut. Most recently, this home was sold in 2010 to its current owner for $3 million. However, it's since been demolished and a contemporary mansion took its place on the premises. From singing a command performance for Queen Elizabeth to having three stars in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, casual, laid-back Perry Como was America's super crooner, whose voice was as smooth as ever. After looking at the one-time homes of Perry Como, that's it for today's house tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. Is there a place you would love to simply retire and live out the rest of your days and why? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!